Oh hey, it's Rob. And I am currently up on Mom's roof. Uh, see all these shingles that have their edges popped up? Yeah, that's my task. I've got to try and uh, get those edges sealed down. It's... I don't know. It's kind of it's a temporary fix. The roof needs to be replaced at some point anyway. It's got probably five years left on the warranty. But uh, the rest of it actually looks pretty good. It's just these uh, the peak, the ridge shingles that are on there that are coming up. So um, I'm going to try and see if I can bend them back with a heat gun, or I've got a propane torch too. If that. If that uh, I ran out of extension cord, and I've got some roofing cement, and there's one hole here that I'm going to patch first, but so far there aren't any other holes that I can see. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do this. It's the cheapest option. The next one would be to um, rip all the ridge shingles off and put on uh, some another ridge piece, because uh, that's not something I want to do. I, it's, I just, I don't think I could handle that here. Well, I probably could, but man, that's a lot more work. I mean, this is going to be plenty just by itself, but, you know. Alright, well, I'll try and uh, keep you guys entertained and hopefully not fall off the roof. making some progress. Uh, these shingles are really pretty bad, these top ones. The edges curling up the most of the asphalt has surrendered itself out of the felt backing. So I'm trying to get the glue as impregnated into the asphalt as I can to try and help it keep its shape. But, uh, there's only so much I can do. But honestly, that looks a lot better than this side. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll be enough for a year or two. Yeah, we can hope. All right, I am calling it quits for the night, but it's certainly a hack job. But those shingles are really in bad shape. I mean, the, all the grains were coming off of them, but I have them locked down glued and stapled in place while the glue can cure and meld the two sides together. Just to let you know, roofing is really hard work. Uh, I'm glad I'm not doing the whole roof. I mean, this is definitely just a patch job, but holy crap, I've been up here for hours. And it's, uh, I mean, it's a cool day, but the sun is hot and the roof gets hot. Whoa, all right. Going in for tonight, 
Uh, I got some more stuff to do inside. Really usual. <laughs> All right, see you guys. So I'm up on mom's roof again. I've got to do this side now. And I'm going to be starting down at the end. Working my way back toward the center. Looking at the roof for any there's some shiny spots that someone who was up here last time had mentioned. Uh, I think they're just places where the um, covering of the shingles has worn off and it's down to the substrate below because there's a layer in there that looks like it's a little plastic barrier. I'm not sure. I saw one yesterday and I can't see it right now. There's one that's right down in this little area down here that's a broken top of the shingle is broken off. So I'm going to hope that that's what it is. Um, when it gets to be later in the day I'll probably have a look and see if I can see it again. But it's not. Mom's chimney is still in pretty decent shape. It's worn but it's not that worn. It's only like 30. 30 years old, I guess. 30-ish, anyway. I don't remember exactly when. Oh, here's a good example. That shiny bit you see right there, and some of the fibers that are in the, in the shingle. The pieces have broken off, or the edges have worn. Alright, anyway, I figured I'd show some of the uh, landscape up here. Trees. Right here. Hello, trees. Alright, I gotta get to work. And yeah, just to prove I'm up on the roof. This is not my favorite place in the world to be. I've been on roofs before. Although I have to admit, uh, an 812 pitch roof is a lot easier to work on than a 1212. My house is a 1212 pitch and boy, that's scary. All right, off to work, see ya. All right, just to give you an idea of what I'm working with here, these are, these are actually pretty good, this one is, yeah, you can see how that's lifted off. Got to get underneath here, get the gunk out, and then what I do is I've got the glue, and I put the roofing glue underneath here, press it down, and then I've got to try and I've been putting staples in to try and keep it in place while the glue cures. Uh, it's a really, it's a strange glue. It's it's almost like asphalt which is, I suppose, what the shingles are supposed to be impregnated with, but it's like this. And you can see how dried out these are, because it's just the fibers that are left. There's very little of the asphalt in there. It's all sublimated away. <sighs> Over the edge. Yeehaw.
see how these are lifting off? And normally the asphalt from in under here would be gluing itself to this surface. So what we do is lay down a generous helping of this roofing glue. Press it into place as best we can. Should get to the edges, maybe even ooze out a little bit. You can see it starting to get there. Yeah, that wasn't what I wanted to do. And then stapling down the edges to hold it in place. particularly for places like this. Add a little bit of glue on top. And then press that in more with the spreader. should help keep these more waterproof. Make them last a little bit longer. And now as this glue cures, it will bond those two together. Here's an example of the uh, those shiny spots. That's where one of these shingle tabs has broken off. It's just left that edge. It's fiberglass, so it reflects the light. Well, I reached the halfway point on this section of the roof. Uh, I'm taking a break. This is this is hard work. Although I've uh, now that I've got the correct settings on the staple gun, it seems to be going a lot better. A lot fewer jams. Those were kind of eating up most of my time. Uh, I don't know how many of these tubes of uh, adhesive I've gone through. I got something like, I think 20 total, somewhere around there. Uh, I think that'll be plenty to cover all of the roof, or to cover all of the bits that need to be glued down. The staples are not really for anything structural, they're more to hold the tabs in place while the glue cures, and it's it's the kind of thing, It's it, um, as the roof heats up, it's going to bond the shingles together more so they will stay stuck together at least that's the that's the theory this is it's a henry roofing material i think it's wet bond or something um, wet patch and uh, it's designed to go on even if the even if there's moisture so and it's unbelievably sticky it's, it's a lot like the asphalt that goes into shingles, or I don't know if asphalt is the right word, but whatever mixture they put into the fiberglass to make them sticky. Uh, that's, I think, what this is, or at least some variation thereof. Uh, this roof is probably five years away from being replaced if, if all things go well. There's some bits and pieces missing, but it's a double shingle roof. So there's still plenty of protection. There aren't any leaks that I could see. Uh, there was one that was a little hole in it that went through the first two layers, but or, or went through the first two shingles. But uh, it looks like it stopped at the third, and I plugged that already. So I'm just gonna keep going until I get that done. And then uh, you can't really see the shed from over here, but there's a there's a shed that I need to go up and uh, 
brush the roof off and try and get some of the moth off. We'll see how that goes. I got a list of stuff to do and I'm not going to be able to get it all done, but you know, mom prioritized the roof, so we're doing the roof. And it's actually not bad. It's kind of nice being up here when it's a nice cool breeze. Somewhere in between a breeze. The roof is really warm. Uh, the shingles underneath are, you know, I mean, the material is basically black. And, uh, the, it absorbs heat from the sun. <laughs> there are times when I'm laying on it and it's like, this is uncomfortably warm. But uh, I see these roofer guys that are on roofs, you know, 10 hours a day when it's 90 some degrees out, and I respect, man. That's a, that's a lot of work. But, uh, all right. Talk to you guys later. <sighs> okay, I am at the last shingle. That's the last one right there. Fix that one, but this is the, uh, the last one I gotta glue down. I am so, so happy to be done with this. Uh,